and today we are going to see how easy it is to install Windows app only on Linux and we are talking about Zorin OS. If you have missed the video, link will be down below with the installation and the overview of this operating system, which is a strong candidate to replace Windows and Mac OS, especially on machines with a few years old and the hardware is not so new because Zorin OS is really light and it will take full advantage of our older computers. Now, it will work great on new computers, but just an idea. Now, one of the questions that I've been asked is, hey Robert, can I install Windows apps on Zorin OS? And the answer is yes, and it's really easy as I will show you in just a few moments. Now, if you are not ready to jump to Zorin OS or any other Linux version and you are still using your Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below. Now let's see how easy it is to install a Windows app in Zorin OS. Now the first thing is just go to our desktop and on the menu, we will search for software and then on software, the software app that we have seen, which is great in Zorin OS, we just need to search for Windows app support. We will need to go uh, all the way down. I think it's the last one. We just need to press install and that is it. If you haven't heard of Zorin OS before, it has a app store which is huge. It has a lot of apps which is great. So don't forget to check the link down below. Now once we install this Windows app support, it is as you are thinking. I just need to download any Windows app to my download folder or desktop, whatever, and then install it. Now, I did try a few that did work great and I did try a few that did not work at all, at least at this moment. We are not giving up, but at this moment. So let's start with the ones that I did manage to work. Now, first was AJA, which is a speed test that I use on all my Windows machines to test out the SSD speeds. And guess what? It did work just great as it does on Windows. I also test out Prime95, which is one of my favorite tools to stress out the CPUs of any machine. And it worked great. Unigine Valley, yes, it's an old benchmark, but it did work. And with a really nice Windows interface on Linux, which is great. Notepad++ also worked. This is a tool that a lot of people ask for. Bandicam, which is a tool to record screen with the webcam, also did work great. Team Viewer, if you are looking to control any PC or meet with your friends and colleagues. Picasa Tree, not really sure if many people is using nowadays. And I was just running through a list of software and installing this and that, and those were the ones that did work. Now, if you ask me, Robert, did all of these work uh, at the the order that you are mentioning no i did try one did not work i did try the other one it did work but i found that it would be useful for you to have a list of yes and a list of no now in terms of the no one of the things that i was expecting this time was microsoft office and unfortunately no i did try 2013 2016 19 and 21 versions and office 365 and at this moment at least in this way i was not able to use microsoft office and although we have a lot of options as we have seen LibreOffice, open office and a lot more that we can use on linux with a great experience some of us want to use microsoft office and that's totally fair but at this moment unfortunately i cannot give you an answer that Yes, it works. No, it doesn't work. Now, I also tried some Adobe tools like Adobe Reader, Adobe Photoshop, Express, and none of them were able to finish the installation. Some did start the installation, but at some point it would break and that was not cool. So that was another tool because I do use Adobe and that would be great. And unfortunately, at this moment, no. 
One benchmark did not work was Geekbench 6, Cinebench 2024 did not work as well, and of course these are benchmarks, but that would be great that they could work on Linux and especially here on Zorin OS. So this is the good news and not so good news, but one thing that I did love was the process, how easy it is on Zorin OS just by installing an app to have support for some Windows apps. Now I would like to hear from you on the comments down below if you are using Zorin OS and if you are trying this method. If you have any app that you are using and it did work, please let us know. And also on the other side, if there are apps that are crucial to you, you did try it, did not work, leave them down below so that we can gather a lot of info. And then someone that comes here, just read the comments and say, okay, this tool is for me. I can use it. Let's go for Zorin OS or vice versa. That being said, hopefully the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.